Hi everyone, this is Greg and welcome to another video of my channel with a special rundown about the Balvenie single malt scotch space side distillery and within this rundown or maybe a bit more at the end we have to try we're going to try as well the famous double wood expression and what stands here on the top of my glass and fitting perfectly as you can see also here because we gotta share the love for the people who are lovely this beautiful coin I won from New Jam Drinker with the famous motto pour it, drink it, enjoy it and the birthday numbers here 65 and see how it's curved enough to fit perfectly oops in the glass wonderful so yeah if you haven't discovered them yet <laughs> please have a look at new drum drinker channel also um, their new website uh, and uh, also on the Twitter uh, you also I think you will find everything basically in their new drum drinker YouTube channel uh, under the description under their videos but yeah I wanted to do this special wink to Anthony and Nikki a lovely discovery a whiskey discovery channel uh, with lots of beautiful editing some uh, banter as well and uh, some nice uh, way of uh, doing uh, whiskey reviews in the contraction okay so today we're going to speak about this distillery which is in the space side area this is part of the william grant group and when we speak of the space side we're going to go here of course and we're going to go even in the village of Dufftown, where this distillery is located and here we have Glenfiddich, which is 30.7 million liters per year, where Balvenie does 7 millions. So uh, they're sister distilleries, but this doesn't finish there because here at Girvan we have the grain distillery from the William Grant and Sons group. And within it, or just be it before it, be, uh, beside it, the new Elsa Bay distillery. So this group has Balvany Distillery, Glenfiddich Distillery, uh, Kinin V, a new one distillery, and the newest one, um, Elsa Bay plus Girvan. You will find more details in the description about this distillery and the group. Um, this distillery is a bit uh, often overlooked uh, because Glenfiddich is the parent, um, the first one in history in this group, 1991, I'm not mistaken. I have to... 96, 1980, 90, 80, 86, sorry guys, it's uh, <laughs> uh, this theory which is still having a bit, 15% almost, of it's um, malted barley, locally uh, malted. Uh, so they have just a small uh, part of it that's uh, locally uh, malted. Um, they have a 12 tons mash done. They have um, two, three days um, washback. Uh, work with um, well, lots of details we're going to find in the description. Sorry, I'm losing time here. It's true. They have cooperage. They have a lot of a lot of things, and you can see here a bit of their traditional warehouse. So yeah, this was a lovely uh, kind of leaflet, and here is David Stewart. We're going to speak again about David Stewart. Uh, who has 50 years of uh, making whiskey, uh, distilling and blending and now he passed his uh, knowledge a bit to his future um, which is named Kelsey and I don't remember the last name now but everything is in the description a 26 years old woman is gonna probably uh, continue the work uh, David Stewart is almost retired 
he helps out uh, Brian Kinsman who uh, or who directs uh, Clint Fiddick while Kelsey will take care of Belvin okay enough of this uh, what do we have here and I can see for those who have seen the picture some people already worried Greg is gonna talk about a lot of whiskies that are not on the market now why and uh, what's the point of covering this and uh, uh, it's no use you're not gonna talk about recent whiskies we still can find of course yes but I'm gonna put this in perspective with the old ones uh, it's always what I try to do some other uh, reviewers do, do it uh, some do not so uh, me I'm trying it's a big longer per, uh, video I know and I'm sorry about that but I'm trying to put a bit more of my experience uh, for you to describe a bit so we're gonna taste this which is the really the uh, the flagship of the the distillery and then and this uh, this uh, expression believe me or not exists since 1992 and it is one of the very first with along with uh, Abelau uh, to have state on stated on the label a double maturation um, and that means also uh, almost equal duration or at the same time depends on the expressions but for this uh, yeah so this is tr that like this a traditional whiskey oak but you have to understand it's ex american oak ex bourbon american oak an original sherry oak so it's olozoro sherry so abelau and balvenie initiated the double maturation idea while for the finishes it is rather uh, Glenmorangie and we're gonna do also a rundown about Glenmorangie later on this year so basically I'm gonna go quickly through my collection and derive a bit to some uh, current uh, expressions you can find and also give you some uh, some perspectives and some special things as well so a long long time ago before i believe the 12 years old um you had this this one is a one liter a bit special for a canadian market and bottled at 43 where usually it's bottled at 40 for europe but i won this in a contest in the balvenie photo contest uh oof, almost 15 years or 10 years more than 10 years ago and this is the founders reserve which comprises some sherry cast but also some bourbon cast so this is the woody uh, malty a bit herbal style that you're gonna also find in the double wood uh, this one is a bit more caramelly uh, of course I l now I'm speaking about natural caramel but uh, for those who wonder most of these are uh, all of these in fact but let's say 90% of the production is most probably colored with uh, E150A and is chill filtered except when for some there on the table for instance it is stated as non-chill filtered and mostly these are the single barrel that are uh, usually uh, non-chill filtered um, so what do we have here uh, so this one is from um, 2007 then there were a time in supermarket you were finding those beautiful 13 years old approximately oh my god <laughs> am I gonna make it and basically this is 12 years old uh, double wood and then um, six to nine months port finish doesn't state which kind of port let me check it once again um, these are the two for me one of the best two of the best finishes uh, so yeah first pipes Portuguese oak first pipes but it doesn't say 
which once again as many brands doesn't say which kind of port it is so we only have to guess and a website as well so these for these two uh, port wood finishes and the more affordable we're going to speak about the 21 later on uh, which is still on the market and has been recently relaunched uh, I saw it, it was discontinued a bit uh, a few years ago it was relaunched and I was very pleased about that less pleased about the price increase I have to say while these were about 30 40 euros back in two, um, 2006 something like that you can imagine the price now um, those do no longer exist the young portwood one and I'm sorry about that I wish they could do uh, a relaunch of a younger and more affordable portrait because I like portwood finishes I and mean, I'm gonna talk about that again in another episode so we have the double wood we have then um, around 15 years ago this single barrel uh, and when it, I say single barrel, the 15 years old initially was uh, only, I think, in bourbon barrels. Uh, while now we have a 15 years old sherry cask, single barrel and non-chill filter as it stayed there. Um, forgot to mention I gave an 80, 91 to the Founders Reserve here. Um, while for those for those 1993 there's the color 1993 and 1991 there were around 91 um, yeah I rated a bit more than 91 than the 93 um, and this single barrel which is to give you an idea uh, this was distilled in 1996 and bottled in uh, 2011 cask number 5625 so you see 47.8 is the usual single barrel uh, ABV for these uh, these kinds of bottlings they do uh, I think might be a little different uh, I don't remember now sorry for the uh, 12 years old first fill bourbon uh, but it's the same principle non chill filtered and around 47 ABV uh, the signature is a beautiful alternative to the uh, founders reserve when this one was uh, discontinued and this one is the first uh, yeah it's batch 5 from this 12 years old signature made of Oloros or Sherry Buds, first fill bourbon barrels and refill bourbon barrels. Again, 40% ABV. Um, so this is yeah, around 92 as well. Um, then I have two interesting and very different rum casks finishes. I have this, which was I heard initially for German market this golden cask 14 years old at 47.5 ABV and this one was finished in Caribbean rum casks and uh, it's lovely a bit dry a bit uh, frustrating at times so uh, 87 out of 100 only while uh, the uh, the other one gets much more uh, falling points more yeah my favorite rum cask so far is the rum cask i just opened 17 years old but i tried it before 43 percent abv and and this one is in jamaican rum cask finished so a bit different um, i have also a sample and i will speak again about this soon of uh, the baldwin ton uh, 1401 but for now let's go and um, do a quick um, perspective of the bottles I don't have so I tried seven uh, 57 uh, different expressions so far why 57 because among them there are around 10 
single casks that were used to create for some this and for some others another batch of the ton that I tried um, in different circ circumstances. Um, I'm going to go now from the uh, my old bottlings, they're all uh, quite old, and I'm going to go to something more recent about whiskies you can find now, so you won't complain. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, Albany Portwood, this is the uh, 13... This is not age stated, but we know about bottling uh, release and stuff. We know it's around 13 years old, or let's say 12 plus. Uh, sometimes it's 12 and 9 months, uh, mind you. So the current expression in Portwood is the 21 years old Portwood. I don't know if I have a picture there, maybe, sorry, <laughs> to show you. Um, yeah, it's a bit small, uh, I have to say. Uh, no. Uh, the 21 years old um, is a beautiful, is a beautiful portwood finish, with lots of marmalade of orange and apricot, uh, sweet spices. This is thick. This is really, uh, you have big mouth feel. The usual one is bottled, unfortunately, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at 40% or 43%, uh, which is a bit low. Um, and if you want to know uh, about my three favorites Belvenies so far, it's simple. Uh, one of those, and I will come back shortly to the others, is the 21 years old Portwood, but a special version, which is a single cask, number 1138. Um, it was kind of one-off, but in a good sense. Uh, bottled at 50.9 ABV, yes, and I rated no less than uh, 96 out of 100, and it's a port bomb, if I may say, a new category to invent. Um, but we, there's not many people who saw this around. I had a chance. David Stewart made me try it in a in a special evening, but. Honestly, it's going to be very hard to um, to, uh, to get this one. Um, okay, so that's it, Portwood. Single barrel. So this one is discontinued now. The uh, bourbon single barrel unchill unchil filtered. But instead of this, you have a 15 years old sherry cask that uh, was a few years, launched a few years ago, maybe five years, which for me was a bit disappointing. Because uh, this one was around 60, 70 euros uh, back to, let's say, 10 years ago. Uh, all of these were uh, less than 60 euros. Even the signature, which came later on. Uh, the only one that were more expensive, this one around 70, the golden cask. And this rum cask, 17 years old, around 100 euros when it was out. Um, but the 17 years, uh, no, 15 years old single cask, uh, single barrel, they say, uh, sherry cask was around 100 euros already. Um, and for me, it was a bit between two, like we say in French, between two seats. So didn't want to be really a full sherry one, like a sherry bomb, and didn't want to be also... Uh, something very balanced with the bourbon notes so it was a bit in between and I, I didn't find it honestly very satisfying so i read it around 85 83 for something that's such uh, expensive it is really not worth but what is worth for me is in the single barrel sub range if i may say the i recommend the 12 years old first field bourbon around 70% ABV as well. Uh, I find it very nice and very um, representative of the distillery house style. So I didn't talk much about the distillery house style. Basically, there's a lot of wild herbs. There's a lot of uh, um, spices, 
maybe mainly ginger bit of nutmeg cinnamon cloves there's some uh, so there's some herbal side some spicy side some vanilla and uh, uh, citrus fruit basically this is the uh, and of course some oak uh, this is the balvenie uh, traditional bourbon house style um, but this one as it is first fill bourbon uh, it highlights more the estuary notes so uh, english licorice all sorts pineapple banana pear um, and a lot of vanilla so uh, and some coconut and spices so it's really if you have the occasion to come across the 12 years old first fill around 70 euros or so sometimes a bit more uh, i think it's a very good value um, about the rest of the range um, previously you you had the um, Car caribbean oak cask 14 years old and this one which is seemed to be popular but uh, i was not super satisfied um the oh sorry it's the problem with the camera you have to apologies cuban selection um honestly as long as well those two are nice are okay uh, a bit too marked by the uh, e150a but this one honestly if you can track back and find it in auction it's really a cracker easy sipping very sweet very uh, delicate and very nicely uh, enhanced by the rum finish um, another thing that unfortunately now it seems to to continue is the uh, the ton series the ton is is a very big vessel several thousand liters where they put uh, some cask in the vatting and back in uh, i think it was 2000 no around 2010 or maybe i uh, apologize i didn't check out the first one um, because i wanted to speak about two expressions in particular um, so around nine years ago maybe they uh david stewart the master distiller at this time started a special series a bit more high-end a bit more luxury and at the beginning it was only a question of uh seven eight nine ten casks together maybe 12. uh and it was a, an attempt uh no each statement but the vintages were written on the box and it was an attempt to recreate something that will highlight the old casks from the distilleries and show how uh, beautiful uh, can be a uh, balvenie can be at uh, more than 30 years old let's say so basically i had the chance to do a uh, balvenie ton so yeah they put all these casts together and they uh, let them mature a bit more and then they release uh, uh, around um, 2000 3000 bottles only the first uh, series of ton uh, 1401 they were for different markets worldwide and the France had for instance the batch 5 uh, 2 I think 5 and 8 uh, those I tried but uh, the most I can remember is from the 5 and the 8 um, I have the 8 here I tend to as i couldn't buy a bottle it's a friendly uh gift uh, as i couldn't buy a bottle when it was around 250 euros and now it spreads around 500 800 and more but this one to give you an idea of the content for instance or uh, you have nine american oak casks from the 1970s uh starting from 97 uh 1970 sorry and finishing to 90 uh, to uh, 1991 um, and there were three uh, uh, european oak sherry cask from uh, 97 97 1 71 and 73 
and now it retails uh, around 500 pounds to uh, 800 <laughs> and we had the chance to deconstruct with Damien I'm gonna put some pictures when I'm gonna launch the video on Twitter um, because I don't do editing once again I'm sorry um, the, we, dec we were invited to evening where we deconstructed the ton um, 1401 ba batch 5 from 2012 bottled at 50.1% 50 ABV and produced 2062 bottles. So there are nine casks in there and we tried, we tried the ton and we tried the nine casks in a row during the evening which was a real privilege and it was very interesting to see the different style of the uh, of the cask uh, and this was um, something going to from 21 years old to 46 years old mind you so from 1966 uh, for the 46 years old to 1991 basically uh, I'm not gonna go long for this one um, there were mostly 1970s casks in there. Um, then about the batch 8, um, the thing is uh, we really loved some of the... I had the occasion to try one or two only from these uh, single casks, I mean, uh, and honestly as some were a bit difficult. As for batch 5, uh, some of the different single casks I've tried really uh, highlighted the beauty of a sherry cask for instance 95 96 of the 100 i gave to the 41 years old um, cask 13 slash 44 uh 1971 sherry cask absolutely beautiful there was also a 17 years old bourbon cask that almost the same rate so this is not necessarily a sherry oriented distillery and honestly you there are all as interesting casks in the bourbon category and in the sherry category and it's a combination of the two for me that makes most of the time uh, the interest in in balvenie so now second part and we'll still at balvenie we're gonna try the double wood there you go so double wood is the one that i should advise for people starting into whiskey once again and for people wanting to know what is the distillery house style basically and we're not spending more than 90 uh for sorry around 40 euros well, some these last years, the offer tend to be a bit more expensive, reaching to 50, 60 euros, around 50 pounds. Um, and as you can see, the color is a bit, uh, it's glowing, it's beautiful, it's uh, uh, amber, but uh, it has some E51, 150A in it. But we're gonna try it and i'm gonna give you my impressions to conclude this present i was not short sorry presentation so straight away some beautiful floral notes because it stayed a bit uh, some beautiful floral notes even some hints of angelica there's more in the 17 um, and more in the 93 rum cask of these notes but but you have most of it candied fruit you have apricot you have peach you have um, citrus a lot of candied fruit and the yolk just behind but you have very intricate in that also some honey note then very gently you can feel there's some sweet spices in there some ginger some cinnamon some uh, nutmeg so beautiful, uh, really satisfying nose for me, with some beautiful roundness, almost acidulous fruit on the background, and some apricot and and peach jam. 
I think this kind of uh, on the palate can be a bit it's sometimes a bit bitter some more marmalade but on the nose it's some beautiful uh, fruit jam slime to well. mm. oh yeah mm. so okay it's 40 percent okay it's still filtered can be a bit frustrating for more demanding audience more con wasser let's say but it's a lovely uh, sipper it's a lovely whiskey as uh, to take as a uh, before the the dinner or just uh, after dinner if you haven't uh, eaten something too spicy too uh, complicated um, it's not really watery but um, it is, it, it is something uh, difficult uh, to uh, explain because at the same time you have some frustration uh, concerning the ABV etc but this uh, there's some satisfying mouth feel uh, it's 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 not very long but it's it's gourmet it has a lot of things to say like I said in the palette you will find marmalade a bit more marmalade but not so much because marmalade uh, apparently means bitter a bit a bit of bitterness so let's say some fruit jam but not too sugary that's what I meant then some nice floral notes even um, some angelica uh, some beautiful oak subtle not too loud um, some gentle vanilla gentle spices as well so the oak wraps around all these I'm gonna take another try mm. yeah beautiful integration of all the flowers so the roundness the complexity and a moderately long mouthfeel finish all makes it a lovely around i will rate it this around 86 87 maybe out of 100 not more this a bit more because this is an old batch from uh, around nine years ago but i tried i i this is a gift uh, but i had another bottle uh, which is more recent believe me or not uh, and i this is probably my five or six double wood since i started 20 years ago so it's a reference that's always on my uh, on my collection. Um, but I wanted to go back. This one is a bit less oaky, a bit less spicy than what you will find now. But I tried one from two or three years ago that finished quickly while because I uh, I gave a lot of samples to, and exported to friends beginning to to do the journey about whiskey. So I wanted to be a bit. Uh, uh, educational so that's why I have to try uh, start another bottle but, uh, there is some consistency in there that's what I meant so I will go for it if you want to discover the distillery on the more generic and also general that means bourbon and sherry style but for those who are a bit more demanding and want to see the most beautiful bourbon side I will recommend the 12 years old first fill single barrel non-chill filtered uh, and for those who want something uh, I forgot to speak yeah um, when they do peat um, they do sometimes have uh, some expressions pity that around uh, where did I put that in the comment uh, description and not here I forgot but you will have find these details um, they try the Belvany tried when, when was it about 2004 when uh, the first Isle cask finished that was said in I believe Lefroy probably finished uh, cask it was 17 years old it was a bit expensive uh, 43% I found it okay but not very exciting just adding a s thin layer a bit too shy layer of uh, smoke in the Balvenie style so I wasn't convinced enough to buy it. I tried it. It was not bad. They did several attempts later on. 
Uh, but for me, the best um, they do is the one that recently rebranded. I can also advise you is the uh, I don't know, it was called Pit Week, and now I think it's called Week of Peak of Pit. 14 years old, around 47, also ABV, something like that. A bit expensive, I have to say, around 90, 80, 19 euros here, probably less expensive abroad. But all in all, a beautiful, uh, this time a bit more estery, and maybe that's why it works. Who knows? Uh, expression of Balvenie, and yeah, week of peat. Uh, there's other things coming in, they have rebranding. I won't speak of those, I haven't tried. Um, they have also some super luxury ranges, the Compendum with uh, old uh, vintages, uh, five members plus, something like that, priced. Uh, 50 years old, 40 years old, etc. They have a travel retail range. Um, but yeah, for now, I will go, if I were you, I will go for the double wood, if you don't know it, then the 12 years old first fill. Then the Balvany 21 port wood is still an absolute cracker. Uh, I tried a recent batch last year that was phenomenal, uh, even at 40%, believe me or not. And uh, I think there's some exciting things coming on with other kinds of finishes. Uh, I would like to see back the Madeira finish. There was one that was not completely convincing for me a few years ago. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try a few drops of water in this one and then say bye bye. And I'm sorry it's gonna be again a long video, but I wanted to do all this together. The, uh, the port wood, the, the double wood tasting, and the whole thing. I will stick to shorter formulas for individual whiskey review, I promise. Mm. A few drops only on this one. Yeah, more of an oaky side. Um, more spices, but not so much. I'll probably not recommend to dilute this one uh, for once, or not for once. <laughs> but um, you all know, there you have it eight expressions from my collection. One I won't try because I try to make it last and maybe share it with some good friends later on. Um, and probably I will go for the 12 first fill bourbon someday uh, and the pit week if I can and come back to tell you about this. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a nice time. Stay safe if you're going uh, to work. Be protected. Mask and, uh, and hand sanitizer and stuff. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and see you very soon. Slangeva.